Good evening, everyone. We did it. We filled up the two spot randoms. We sold all the teams. And now we're ready to do some 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box. Pick your team number two from jazpiecehobbyland.com. Big thanks to all of these folks right here hanging out with us on a Friday. There's... I don't know why there's a lot all these stars next to everyone's names. Congrats to Patrick Kate for getting the Angels and congrats to Stephen Kate for the Yankees. Paul Nixon has two stars next to his name. And then but then Jeremy Merle has a star for the Braves and the and the Pirates next to his name. I didn't do this list. I don't know what that's all about, but I can't undo it. It's printed out. So, so that must be some sort of magic mojo there that I don't know about. But it's break time. Let's see what we can do. I, don't know, I just saw that, Rory. Brewers walking it off. MLB Network just had Eric Thames just walking that, that off. All right. Good luck. I got two, four, six, and eight right here. And good luck. I don't know what those double stars mean. I'm not sure what that means. All right, Topps Chrome Baseball, ladies and gentlemen. You guys check out our Twitter, at Jaspies Hobbyland, last night. We pulled a uh, we pulled a Shohei Otani autograph out of here, which is pretty awesome. This is out of, out of a hobby case, I'm pretty sure. Which is definitely unexpected. Now, the hobby cases have two autographs per box. These jumbo cases... Five autographs per box. That's a lot of autos. All right. Good luck. There's Shohei Otani, who has two home runs tonight. Nice Chris Davis, black and blue. We'll, we'll sleeve and top load those after the break before they get shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we're going to move along quickly unless they're a numbered card. And our first autograph is Troy Scribner. All right, that's about where my hands are going to be. I'm going to get the angle right. Ang uh, angles for the, for the Los Angeles Anaheim Angles. That goes to Patrick K. Are we doing a top five hits of July? Probably. I don't do them. Nick Jaspi organizes those. So I don't know. I'll ask. He probably will. There's Mike Trout. And, wow, that's a great autograph. Look at that. Giovanni Gallegos with a big auto. And that goes to Stephen K and the Yankees. Out of There's Ozzy Albius, nice, out of 75. And we got Richard Urena. For the Blue Jays, that'll be for Jeff G. Manny Machado, Aaron Judge.
Should be expecting two more autographs out of here. And Miguel Andujar, nice. That's a nice autograph. Another one for Stephen K, who got the Yankees in a spot random. Is that gold? It is. Out of 50, Justin Turner. And then the autograph, Roddy Reed. For the Reed auto goes to Scott McNulty and the Nats. Fifth and final auto of the box. And the gold Justin Turner goes to Dylan and the Dodgers. As will this Justin Turner Green to 99. Nice. I like that design right here, too. Nice. Next box. Oh, where, where did where did my very very legal stream go of the Astros Dodgers game? Hmm. Oh, there it is. All right. Next box. Another five autographs. Looks like the uh, the Nationals Reds game postponed. The Red Sox, Rick Porcell had a great start. They beat the Yankees 4-1. Rick Porcell only allowing one hit in a complete game start. Braves edging out the Mets 2-1. The White Sox winning in 10 innings in extras 3-2 in Tampa Bay. On the back of uh, two home runs by Shohei Otani, Angels beat the Indians 7-4. Phillies beat the Marlins 5-1. Pittsburgh edging out the Cardinals 7-6. Cubs fending off a late-inning attack by the Padres. Cubs win 5-4. And the Brewers walked it off with a big Eric Thames home run 5-3. Other games in progress. All right. On a Friday night, folks, fun fun baseball night. Jake Lamb we just saw there. I think he just went on the DL for the rest of the season with a shoulder thing. There's Walker Bueller, future Dodger ace. There you go, Dylan Schmidt. There you go, man. Getting that Dodger Joe mojo. Chris Archer started today, didn't he? At Pirates 176. I don't know how he did, but Pirate now. Out of 99, Albert Pools for the range or Angels. And Felix Jorge for the Twins. That'll go to Eric Leal. And Victor 
Orano for the Phillies. That'll be for a D-Mac and the Phils. Kenley Jansen at 299 for Dylan and Tanner Scott for the O's. Nice. Uh to 50, I think, Big Rig. We just saw that Justin Turner gold. Right? And that was to 50, I think. For the Orioles, Jared with the O's. Tanner Scott coming your way. There he is, Eric River Thames. Just walked it off. You just you, some of you may have heard the overheard the highlight in the background. Get up, get up, get out of here. And Zach Granite purple at a two fifty. And that'll go to, once again, Eric Leal and the Twins. Oh, you pulled an, a gold auto? I'm not sure. The gold autos, autographs may be numbered differently. That might be... Gold oftentimes has been out of 10 is a possibility too. If you go to cardboardconnection.com, you can look up the checklist and they'll tell you what the uh, what the exact numbering is going to be for the gold. Or someone might know offhand. If you do, let Big Rig know. We do have some games in progress as well on the 3rd of August. It looks like the Rangers-Baltimore game just ended. Um, Texas beating the O's 11-3. Um, Diamondbacks are leading the Giants, bottom of the 4th, in Arizona 6-3. Tigers at Oakland, still scoreless. Blue Jays at Seattle, leading 2-1 at the end of the 4th. And looks like they got the Kansas City Twins game back. So Kansas City are in Minnesota. Twins are leading 3-2 in the bottom of the fourth. And the Astros are leading my Dodgers 2-1, bottom of the third. And don't look now, folks, but Jock Peterson's on fire. He had a, he had a leadoff home run solo shot today off of Verlander. There's Joey Gallo to 150, and Thomas Nito for Armando and the Mets. <laughs> Rich saying 50 it should be. We got we got some Yoda in here, Rich. Uh -uh, 50 it should be. And speaking of the Astros, J.D. Davis. That goes to Jose.
Tom is saying that, yeah, six, only six left in elements, but we still have 45 minutes left to go on this break. I'm sure it'll sell out when this break starts to get closer to, to finishing. So, Zach Granite, Twins. Thanks, Stephen K. It's a decent Yoda. I watch a lot of I watch a lot of Star Wars. What are you gonna do? Eventually, you're gonna develop one of those voices at some point. Everyone's got a voice. Eric Leal, Eric Leal with the twins. What's everyone's best Star Wars character voice? Let's get into it. Well, I think we're getting Topps Archive Signature Series Star Wars at some point. Whenever that comes out. I only recently realized Joey Gallo was childhood buddies with um with uh whatchamacallit? Bryce Harper. Wow, nice Ozzy Albius, blue shimmer. For the Braves, Jeremy Merle with a star next to his name. Could be last spot mojo, could be second to last spot mojo, I don't know. Some kind of mojo, but there you go. Sixteen out of one fifty. Tweet at him. Hey, look at this cool auto we got. Oh yeah, Rich, you've got a good Princess Leia. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to call in, and you're gonna give me the Princess Leia over the phone. What's your What's your What's the, What's your go-to line, Rich, when you do Princess Leia? Maybe the scruffy-looking nerf herder line. There's Ronald Herrera. Autograph for the Rangers. That'll be for Big Boys 007. There you go, Dave. Nice rookie auto. There's new Dodger Brian Dozier, 48 out of 99. That'll still go to the Twins, though. I have to admit, Brian Dozier does kind of look, it's kind of look odd in a Dodgers uniform. Like Machado, I feel like he's up to bat right now. Machado looks okay. You know what I mean? In a uh, in a Dodgers uniform, seems to suit that uniform. You know, a lot of the other guys suit that uniform. I don't know. I guess I'm so used to seeing Brian Dozier as a twin. Rich's Rich's go-to Princess Leia lines when he's uh, this is this is Rich's bar trick. When he's out with his out with his friends, trying to impress some ladies. Maybe he has a good Princess Leia voice. She does the "I love you, I know." Kind of the deal with uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo, of course. Or, <laughs> he's my brother. <laughs> what about the... What, Rich, what about... I'm just, I'm in my head, I'm imagining Rich doing these voices um, at the same time. What about uh, when they were in the South Passage on the Millennium Falcon? Han Solo's coming up close. And she's trying to slowly move away, but their eyes are locked. And Han Solo goes, you're trembling. And she's like, I'm not trembling. What about that one? My hands are dirty. Mine are too. <laughs> Alright, next box. Uh, Top Archives Star Wars coming up. I don't know when. Rich, when is that product coming out? We we've ordered it. It's on it's on our Jaspie's calendar, ladies and gentlemen. Or at least not not on the break menu, but at, here at the store we've got a calendar. There's Hunter Wood, Tampa Bay Rays. Owen with the Rays. Seventy nine out of one fifty. Yeah, my Princess Leia is no good, William. That that's Rich's skill right there. But you'll get all those impressions and more, ladies and gentlemen, when Topps Archive Signatures. Um, drops late August, end of August, thinks Rich. 
So join that brig and hear me do spot on impressions of uh, of, of Star Wars. <laughs> Arthur's like, slow down there, Joe. The windows are fogging up. Yeah, I gotta watch out. Some people might be driving and watching this, listening to the show, not watching. Arthur, All right? Be safe. Jaspieshobbyland.com and its affiliates are not responsible for uh, for watching while driving or train whistling while driving. We are not responsible for that. All right, uh, Sandy Alcantara goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Marlins. There you go, Jeremy. David Robertson. Slide that there. Poor Alex Reyes. I feel like that was that guy was on the cusp of of breaking out. Kyle Farmer. Nice Kyle Farmer for the Dodgers and Dylan. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. Does he really have two underscores in his in his IG handle? You know what underscores tell me? Underscores tell me I don't want to be found on Instagram. <laughs> don't find me on social media anywhere. I want to make it hard to find. Make me hard to find. There's Dominic Smith. And we got a Shohei Otani. And Andrew Stevenson for the Nats. Scott McNulty with the Nationals. William L., what is what is your go-to Star Wars voice? Do you have a, do you have a go-to Star Wars voice? There's an uh, uh why did I say Anthony Walker Taiwan Walker, two ninety out of two ninety nine. Oh, you got you got a good Vader. All right, all right. Oh, that Dominic Smith was the variation. That's what I thought. All those refractory uh cards will ship out, and all the variations will ship out. So our shipping team will catch that. Trevor Williams Pirates Jeremy Merle with another star next to his name. That's why that Dominic Smith looked different. 409 out of 499. Taiwan Walker going to Big Boys 007 out of 299. And there's Justin Turner in the back right there. <laughs> your iron lung helps. What is your what is your go-to Darth Vader line? Like, there'll be no one to stop us now. Now, that's more Bane, isn't it? That's more, that's more Bane. What's a good Bane line? Does everyone have a good, everyone seems to have a good Bane impression, right? You improvise. Are <laughs> you killed younglings? Oh man. That was a, that was a sad part. Who who has who has a who has a good uh, Natalie Portman impression? Maybe uh, episode three, Natalie Portman. You know, Anakin, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> so bad. Natalie Portman, otherwise fantastic actress. Pretty much every every movie she's done, fantastic actress. 
But, I mean, maybe you can't work with a script like that. He just wasn't feeling it. It's like, okay. Right, we got a redemption here. Upside down Trey Turner is going to reveal you are due to receive a rookie autograph of C A Char Charlie? Ch oh, Chance Cisco. That is for the Orioles. And that'll go to Jared and the O's. You can't read that. You can't read that pen on there. There we go. In this uh, the chocolate brown, like the like the old Padres uniforms. Uh, Matt Hanel, I do not have a good Jar Jar. I'll tell you what. Me and a few buddies. Um, some of you may remember this from last fall. Went and did. Uh, oh, actually, we'll leave this out here to keep track of the autos. Um, went and did Star Wars trivia, and to get free booze, we had to. There's there like a free booze contest, like you get a free round of booze, and they were like, "Oh yeah, someone come up and do like read these Jar Jar Binks lines, and the best one, like the bar will vote." And it was actually pretty, pretty crowded. There's Lewis Brintz and Marlins edition. And you're supposed to do it, and the crowd would vote on, on who wins. I was not sent out by my team. There's Paul Blackburn Rovers. That's a good that's a good line though. The you were the chosen one line. You and McGregor definitely definitely delivers it with some with some heart there. Natalie Portman's You Are Breaking My Heart line. Anna, Anna, it was not good, but you could really you could really feel that you and McGregor really felt that it was like you are my brother Anakin. We're we're supposed to bring balance to the force, not just whatever it was. Nikki Del Monaco, that part that part's a good part actually. One of the one of the handful of good moments in in the prequels. <laughs> William L., your your go-to Vader line, did I just miss that? Is is no, and he moves around like Frankenstein. That's a good one. Kevin, I just saw what Kevin. I'm look, reading the chat now. Uh, you do a mean Hans trap by Jabba impression. Just that one. That's a good. That's a good impression. That's a good one. Alex Verdugo, 34 out of 99. Nice show Otani as well. And we've got Brandon Woodruff. That's a cool shot with the baseball right there. Brandon Woodruff, Milwaukee Brew Crew. Scott V with the Brewers. Felt different for some reason. Oh, see that? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> felt uh, felt different. I was like, "What is that?" I thought it was going to be like a one of one or something. There's Reyes Moronta for the Giants. Let me breeze through these really quick. And Carlos Carrasco, gold, ten out of fifty, gold shimmer. And there's Yuli Gurriel. All right, so the Giants auto, Oppo Joe Mojo going to Jonah. And nice Carlos Carrasco gold shimmer for the tribe. That'll go to Paul Nixon with two last spot mojo things next to his name. Not sure why that happened, Paul, but 
could mean good things. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Three to go. We got about another, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes left in this break. So I guess now would be a good time to start filling up that, finishing off that elements or the immaculate baseball, whichever you guys want to do, folks. We'll have, by the time this is done, we'll have another solid, I don't know, hour, two hours left in the break. Plenty of time to do to do both of those, and then more after that. Rich's favorite part, what, in the prequels? Was Samuel L. flying out the window? I'm sure someone has a good emperor, you know, like impression, right? <laughs> Uh, Samuel L. flying out the window was pretty good. What about what about Samuel L. inside that big uh, that big cave with all the bugs, and at the end of Attack of the Clones, you know, where he appears and says, "This party's over." We're like, "Oh yeah," Samuel L. says, "This party is over." That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Samuel L. Jackson maintains, ladies and gentlemen, and tops archive signature series Star Wars coming to jazbeeshobbyland.com at the end of the month. Um, there'll be a lot more Star Wars talk. Um, Samuel L. Jackson maintains that he is not dead. He, I think he's trying to open the door for maybe another. Star Wars appearance. I think the amazingness of Mace Windu was definitely, definitely not clearly explored, not fully explored in the uh, in the movie. But if you're down, folks, if you want a, uh, if you want some good Star Wars reading, I would highly recommend to you the Mace Windu book. I forgot what it's called, Shatterpoint. I think actually now that I think about it. There's Alex Mejia, Cardinals, Shatterpoint. Check it out. It's like uh, this goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Cardinals. Uh, it's it's like um, it's like Heart of Darkness, Joseph Conrad, or Apocalypse Now. And you're like really Joe? yeah yeah. So think Apocalypse Now. Think Apocalypse Now and think Mace Windu. And then you'll pretty much get that book. It's pretty good, actually. There's Odubel Herrera to 75. Matt Hannell believes. He's like, we didn't see him die. I, I want to believe. The truth is out there, Matt Hannell. I want to believe. Brand Woodruff and Tomas Nito. It's neato. That's for Armando and the Mets. Um, the regular autos, Kevin Lesser, are not numbered. And then you have refractor autos numbered to 499. Then you've got the purple autos numbered to 250. I think the blue autos are maybe 150. Green autos to 99. Gold autos to 50, maybe? Orange autos to 25. Red is out of five. And then the super fractors, the one of ones. There's Jackson Stevens. That is uh, Jonah and the Reds. So if you're like, wait, did Jackson Steven really sign f all these base autos plus another 499 autos for the refractor versions and another 250 for the purple and so on and so forth? The answer is yes, he did. I don't know how long. I wonder how long this takes. I got to next time I meet one of these guys, these professional ball players, I'm going to ask them. I'm going to be like, hey, Victor Carantini, how long did it take you? He's like, remember back in 2018, Topps Chrome Baseball? This is for EA and the Cubs. How long did it take you to do those thousands of autographs? I'm surprised we have not seen, like, you know how there's always, like, weird um, weird baseball injuries? I'm surprised we haven't heard 
some sort of like injury due to signing cards. Like someone's like, oh yeah, Trey Turner out for out for ten days on the ten day DL. You know, like thumb strain from holding on to a pen and signing cards. Surprised we haven't seen that. We've heard of baseball players like straining their obliques because they were like reaching in the shower and they were, you know, trying to. Heard that? What's that? Re reaching for the remote control. That's a classic one. There's Greg Allen right there. Washing your truck. You guys remember that one? Jeff Kent washing his truck and fell off and. Greg Allen for the tribe. Paul Nixon and the Indians. Makes them worth 50 cents. In well, not if you're Shoei Otani. <laughs> not if you're this guy. Yes, earlier this season, Sal Perez carrying his own luggage up the stairs to his house and then uh <laughs> you know and then and then like what did he do like destroy his MCL he was out, he was out for a good minute or two all right last two boxes boys and girls find a good uh, good stream for this game all oh, right dirt bike the dirt bike rider yeah Kevin if you watch some of our breaks I'll definitely be definitely call him the dirt bike rider there gotta be so there's gotta be some wacky injuries like weird baseball injuries that happen to baseball players kind of thing. It's a long season, so, you know, sometimes goofy stuff like that happens. Right, second to last box. Ten autographs to go. Good luck. Kevin Lesser's like, I'm in San Francisco. I haven't seen any dirt. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like back home in North Carolina, wasn't it? Like there was like a there's like a weekend off or I don't know, I don't know what it was. It was in the middle of the season. But maybe there was like a day off or something like that, and he had gone back home. Something. And there, speaking of San Francisco, there is Miguel Gomez for Jonah and the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. I mean, I guess you could go... Kevin, I guess if you go, like you know, into central California or maybe outside of outside of Davis, Sacramento maybe. There's a lot of farmland, dirt around there. If you go up the if you go up that river, that delta there, probably a lot of dirt around there. There's Troy Scribner, five out of ninety nine. And Dylan Peters. Dylan Peters for Jeremy Tillman and the Marlins. Yeah, I think he was. David Price, I think, was definitely on the DL earlier this year. And um, I don't know exactly what it was. Yeah, it was either his wrist or maybe it was his thumb or something like that. Something. It was There was like th thumb fatigue or something. Um, that uh, That landed him on the DL. 
because he was just not effective. He can't hold the baseball. All right, there's Tyler Wade for the Yankees. That's one for Stephen K. Remember, he got the Yankees in a spot randomizer. It's pretty nice. Aha, uh -huh, there's the one per case, Victor Robles. Rookie debut medallion for Scott McNulty and the Nationals. I think some of these are numbered. Some of these can be autographed too. We haven't seen that yet, but there we go. Nice. Superstar Sensations. This is our first Superstar Sensations autograph. Chris Sale for the Bow Sox. Corey K. Nice. 38 out of 60. On the DL right now, but people say it's not, not, a ser not serious. No one's worried. And Scott Kingery for the Phillies. D Mac, Darren McKenzie. Oh, you're Kevin, you got you got the Red Sox in break three? Well, don't worry, Kev. There's like at least fifty nine more. Nice Scott Kingery for the Phillies and Darren. I think that's it. Did we get a bonus? Paul DeYoung. There's George Springer. Out of 150, George Springer still still giving me nightmares. Is that George Springer up to bat? No, I don't think so. Still a 2-1 game, Astros Dodgers. No, no, no. That that's the five right there. It's pretty cool though. All right, last box, ladies and gents. Good luck. Oh, it's J.D. Davis. Now, this is Pick Your Team 2, Chrome Jumbo. Pick Your Team 3 is also sold out, ladies and gentlemen. But we still need to do that angel spot randomizer. Now, that'll that'll most likely be tomorrow, but just keep that in mind. We should start the day off with, with that break. Finish off that spot random, get Jumbo 3 done, and then we can work on um, then we can work on moving Jumbo 4, which is sold out. We just need to move the Angels and the Yankees. We'll make them available straight up for a little bit before a spot random. Kyle, what's going on? Kyle B in the house. All right, last five autographs. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Now, I don't think anything's filled up yet. Let me just double check. Um, Immaculate Baseball is down to eight. And we're still holding at six on Elements Football. Those two breaks we not only have time for, but we should do tonight. So this break is pretty much over, ladies and gentlemen. So... Get into it, jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's Dylan Peters. Dylan Peters behind a Dylan Peters. Six out of five. Fifty. Kyle is asking if we're in Cleveland. Yeah, sure. You can pretend we're in Cleveland. See? Look how busy the Nationals is behind us. Dylan Peters, six out of 50, going to the Jeremy Tillman and the Marlins.
Nice. Oh, I don't know what this will go for, but that's pretty nice. Those are, those are short printed. And there's Tiago Vieira for the White Sox. That'll be for Scott C. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let, let's get that Elements done. Elements and or Immaculate. John, John, Daniel, and Thomas all want Elements football. They've been waiting patiently. So let's get those teams knocked out. What teams are left, you guys? Let, let the people know. That might get the people going. And there's Giovanni Gallegos. Um... No, we don't have a no, – no one from Jaspies is at the National. No. You think you think they would just get a booth, ditch me, and make me stay in California? Man, that would be sad times. I wouldn't stand for that. Uh, the Gallegos goes to Stephen K and the Yankees. No, we, we weren't able to go this year. The timing just didn't work out. Definitely shooting for next year, though. In Chicago, I believe. There's Edwin Encarnacion to 99. Kevin Lesser, if you buy a spot in the random, that means you get a random team in the break. Yes, there's two different breaks. There's the 12 box random team break, and that means you get a random team. And then obviously these eight box pick your teams, the eight box pick your teams are obviously you're picking your teams. Now, there's also Yankees and Angels spot randomizers, where if you join one of those, you have a random chance to get a, a spot or a random chance to get the Angels or the Yankees in the pick-your-team break. You did the jumbo random? There is no such thing. <laughs> there's no jumbo random. We have the 12-box hobby version. That's a random team break. And then we have the Angels and Yankees spot random. If you did a jumbo random, you might be on the wrong, might be on the wrong uh, page, <laughs> the wrong site. And there's Parker Bridwell. So we have uh, Browns, Cardinals, Jets, Raiders, Rams, and Ravens left in. Uh, thank you, John. Left in that um, elements, folks. Let's get that done. Oh, if you're in the Yankees random, yeah, that's just a that's like a break within a break. And that's for Patrick K out of 499. So that's just to get the Yankees in break 3. We already did that video earlier today. You can see the results there. There's Kevin Pilar to 299. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. We made it. There are your final five autographs. This is a pretty solid case, boys and girls. So thanks for getting in. We've got the Dog Days of Summer promo as well. So let's go back to the list and let's fire up random.org. We got Dave down to Scott. Let's roll the dice. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. I'll, I'll answer the, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you all about it afterwards. Three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four. I said three and a two, right? Five times? All right. Fifth and final time, name on top, gets the Dog Days of Summer promo spot. And the winner is Scott V. There you go, Scott. You are in the promo. Thanks. Congrats. Thanks, everybody. That was Pick Your Team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Pick Your Team number three is already sold out. We just need to finish off that Angels spot randomizer, and that'll probably be, probably be tomorrow. So thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.